Hi guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a very different video that I have never done on my channel and that is to review and give my final thoughts of the products that I have finished. So here is the basket of all the products that I have finished using up. So let's get started. I have a lot of skincare and few makeup bits. Uh, so let's start with the makeup products. So the first product is LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil and uh, this is in the shade espresso i don't know if i can show you a swatch this is how brown the espresso shade is it's not extremely pigmented and that is what i like about a brow pencil so it doesn't look like a painted sharpie brow and you can get a very nice natural look with it and it also comes with a spoolie end so if you are looking for a new eyebrow pencil you can definitely give this a try next i have two concealers uh, this is the la girl pro conceal i think everybody must have used it or if you haven't tried it you should try it out because this is an amazing amazing concealer in a uh, budget and this was in the shade medium beige so if you are around nc 40 42 this will be a great concealer shade for you it is really really well pigmented it covers up your dark circles your pigmentation if you have any to a good extent and it also cover uh, and it also covers up your acne marks so for your everyday makeup look this is a very good concealer next concealer is maybelline age rewind and this is in the shade honey uh, the shade honey was a little too light for me so it used to look a little grayish on me sometimes so I use this as a highlighting concealer on the forehead uh, bridge of the nose uh, just uh, around the inner corners of the eye and it worked beautifully. I also used this as a base for my eyeshadow because it was a little too light for me. So the eyeshadows used to look bright and used to pop on the eyelids. And I'm using Age Rewind already in a different shade and I will continue using it once even that finishes up. Okay, so these were the makeup bits. Now let's start with skincare. For makeup removing, I have used up two bottles of Garnier Micellar Water. So this is the original micellar cleansing water and this one is the oil infused one. I personally love the oil infused one. Uh, both of them works really really well. I like the smell on this a little bit better so I have already purchased two big bottles as my backup and I think I have one more use left with this. I have stopped using makeup removing wipes because none of them are biodegradable so these are my favorite. For toner, I have used up a bottle of plum alcohol free green tea toner. If you have oily skin like me or even normal skin or you have acne prone skin, so this toner is going to help you out a lot. It is very gentle on the skin. It um, does it has fragrance. Yes, it has a very faint green tea fragrance which is not irritating at all it is very gentle on the skin it removes all the dirt and grime which is left behind even after washing your skin it works really well i feel it calms down the skin and it has no alcohol so after using the toner you won't feel itchy and dry and tight it's a really good toner this is my favorite toner this is the biotique bio cucumber toner i have already bought backups of this toner this is amazing i have extremely oily skin and i love using this toner it's been so long and i have used so many different types of toner but this is the bomb my skin feels very fresh after using this i pour this on a little cotton square and rub it gently all over my face and neck and it deeply cleanses my skin and it makes me feel very refreshed after toner let's talk about serums so this is the blossom culture aroma magic fairy skin oil let me tell you this did nothing for me it claims help to prevent acne and pimples it did nothing for my acne and pimples it says it balances sebum level hmm I didn't see any change of oiliness on my skin. It reduces inflammations and blackheads. No, it didn't do nothing for me. So I'm not gonna repurchase and I won't recommend this to you either. 
The next product is a daily peel. This is going to take a while. This is Dr. Shades for Indian Skin Basic Brightening Extra Gentle Daily Peel. So uh, how I used this was just after cleansing my face, I took a pump of this, massaged it uh, between my fingers and applied it all over my face and a little bit on the neck. It didn't do much for me because I feel my skin is a little tough. I need something a little stronger. Uh, any which ways, I used this only at night and woke up in the morning with a little brighter looking skin and it didn't help me with my old acne marks. Overall, it just gave me a bright look. Would I repurchase this? Uh, I don't think so. I think I would like to try something else with vitamin C in it for brightening of my skin. If you have normal to oily skin, you can definitely give this a try. It will definitely uh, brighten your skin. If you have sensitive skin, I would recommend you to stay away from this gentle peel because it does burn a little bit around the nose and around my mouth. Now let's talk about moisturizers. For moisturizer, I used up this Biotic Bio sandal ultra soothing face lotion this smells so nice it definitely is very soothing and it's soothing on the skin as well it has spf 50 so i have used this almost every day during summers even though i have oily skin it tends to get a little bit greasier but apart from that it hydrates and nourishes my oily skin really really well and yes i will definitely repurchase this one next moisturizer is this lotus white glow skin whitening and brightening gel cream do not buy this one it works very bad as a moisturizer and with makeup it is horrible if you use a really less amount which is not enough for your whole face it sits really well on your skin but if you use a little bit extra it will start rolling on your skin and it will be a total mess and it sits really bad under makeup i just don't like this under makeup or even to use it on its own i just no next moisturizer is one of my favorites this is the Olay White Radiance Brightening Intensive Cream. This has SPF 24, quite a thick and luxurious feeling cream. It felt really nice and it really did hydrate my skin really well. If you think you have oily skin and you don't require hydration, no, you need hydration. This is a little on the pricier side. I think it retails for around $9.99, but, but during the sale, you can grab it with a little bit of discount. If you haven't tried this and you are thinking to buy an Oli product, I definitely recommend you to check this out. This, my friends, is star of all the moisturizers. This is the Neutrogena a hydro boost water gel look at the packaging this packaging is so pretty it comes in a glass blue color jar it has a very faint soothing smell the consistency is very gel like i used to use a dollop of this massage it all over my face my under eyes and my neck and in the morning i used to wake up with plump gorgeous glowy skin i love how this moisturizer plumps up my skin and it looks like as if my skin had a whole glass of water and it quenched its thirst and it just looks amazing if you haven't tried this moisturizer yet i highly highly recommend you to try this out out of all the moisturizers i'm sure you will love it next is an eye gel from l'oreal this is the hydra fresh anti ox grape seed hydrating mask in eye gel that's a big name this came as a clear gel the packaging is damn cute it didn't do anything for my dark circles or to deep off the under eyes it just hydrated it really well uh, i don't think so i will be repurchasing this one because i'm sure there are more better eye creams out there in the market so if you're looking for an eye gel only for hydration purpose you can definitely try this out it does its job really well but it's only for hydration nothing else next is a little deo from nevia this is the body deodorizer fresh citrus and care it has nothing left in the bottle 
This smells really nice, very citrusy. I definitely lean more towards citrusy and fresh aqua scents. A really nice citrus smell. This is a really nice to throw in your handbag and, and it stayed on me for four or five hours and I don't mind repurchasing this one again. And the last product from the basket is the Presume Keratin Smooth with Keratin and Argan Oil Shampoo. It's also low sulfate formula. Hmm. Tresemme is a really good and affordable brand for shampoos and conditioner. And I picked this shampoo up because it said 100% smoother, shinier hair. This smells really nice. I cannot define it, but it smells really nice. And yes, it did what it claims. It did make my hair very smooth, very shiny and very silky and yeah i think i will repurchase this one too so guys that was it those were all my empties that i have been collecting from a couple of months just to do this video and show you guys hope you guys like this video and also my final thoughts about all these products if you guys have used any of these products do let me know in the comments below and also subscribe to my channel please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye